Hey, it's Chris Chico, and in today's video, I've got a treat for you. Number one is I got Gene with me. He's not the treat. The treat is that we're going to be critiquing a call from one of our acquisitions people, and we are going to reviewing that call in order to figure out if they are if those calls are good or if they are duds. I've not listened to this this call, although I have an inkling that this call is not going to be that great because I did listen to like the first, you know, five seconds of it. I just want to let you know, this yeah. guy's on the chopping block. Right. And I think after you hear this call, you'll agree with me and we'll make that final decision. Got it. And then we'll publish the video after. So this but this or, video or, will be published after. Or, uh, or do we may, call him right on the spot no, right I now? Think, <laughs> I think he should find out once we post the video. He'll find out when he watches the video. I'm doing, I, I don't even know how to operate this fucking thing. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I got fucking imbecile here. All right, so here we go. We're gonna play this, and then as we play it, we'll listen to it, and you and I will have a commentary about this. All right. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Hey, hello. Hey, Melvin. This is David yeah. from National Property Buyer. How are you doing? Oh, uh, pretty good. Pretty good. That's what I like to hear. So yeah, the reason for my call is because you fill our form Facebook. Thank you so much for going ahead and sending me the address. Um, yeah, I was just calling to collect some more information on the property. Oh, so what's going on? The greeting. Yeah, he sounds like he's half asleep. He's number like, one, uh -huh. right? Would you say that? That's right. number one, the yeah. energy level. Number two, um, he's not following any sort of script, no, right? And we gave him a script, mm -hmm. right? Uh, and maybe we'll go into like how I, how I do the greeting and maybe how you do the greeting. Uh, and then the other part of it is at the end, he asked the person, so what's going on? So what's going, what's going on? on? Like what the what is that? What's going on? Yeah, I don't like play play the beginning really quick again. We're in uh, second twenty six, but hey Melvin, this is National Property Buyer. How are you doing? Hey Melvin, this is like that pause. Hey yeah. Melvin, <clears throat> pause. Yeah, you know that's just <laughs> unnecessary and it makes it awkward too. He sounds like he doesn't know what the fuck he's yeah, doing. Yeah, he doesn't. Um, so the way I like the Jordan Belfort, you know, high energy. Right, you gotta, you gotta sound um, enthusiastic as hell, sharp as attack, and a figure of authority. And you know, in any in any sort of um, sales conversation, uh, the the way you come across has a dramatic a dramatic impact on how that whole conversation goes, right? Mm -hmm. Because you could have the most amazing script, but if you sound like crap, then you're not gonna get anywhere. And I like the three, th you know, saying three things that the person can say in his mind: yes, yes, yes. So if I was calling you, hi, is this Gene? And he goes, yes. I said, hey, Gene, it's Chris Chico from nationalpropertybuyer.com. You saw our post on Facebook and you filled out the form asking to get a cash offer on your property. Does that ring a bell? And you go, yes, it does. Okay, great. Well, if you've got a few minutes, I'd love to get more information about the property and see if it might be a property that we can make you an offer on. Do you have a few minutes? And then he would say, yes, of course I do. So instead of asking, mm -hmm. like, what's going on, then you have your series of questions, right? The way I like to do it is, just a little bit about the property. Can you tell me a little bit about the property and, and, and what you got over there? And then he's going to tell me, right? I, I like to just throw in there after he says, well, it sounds like a great property. I, I'm curious as to why, why, why are you selling? Why are you needing to sell? You know, one thing I don't agree with you is the, uh, hey, is this Chris, right? Mm. Because I feel like that gives people an easy out. Oh, like, I can, you can say, hey, I'm looking for Chris. I'm looking for Gene. Say, I'm looking for Gene. I'm looking for Chris. Or I also like to assume the person I'm talking to is the yeah. person I need to talk to. Right. So, you know, you're more likely. We all get telemarketers, right? Right. So, hey, is this Gene? <laughs> Click. Done. Right. Right. So I like to, hey, Gene, how's it going? Hey, Gene, how are you? Hey, like, I like to assume that I'm already talking to that person. And right. if I'm not, they'll be like, who are you looking for? Cardone's team does really well is that they assume they're talking to the person they need to talk to. Right. When you pick up the phone and you say, hello, Chris Chico, or hello, because you do this, hello, they say, hey, Chris, this is, insert name, or this yeah. is Gene with Cardone's office. How's it going? Sorry, so where are we at? 26. Okay, we're at 26. So what's going on? What's going on? Oh, not much. Uh, Why well, I passed away and I just need to get out here where I live. I see her. What we've done. What the hell is that? And what's the condition like? It's in good condition. So at that moment, the guy said, oh, I just need to get out from where I'm at, yeah. right? I would think, I would personally, right then and there, have dug in. Oh, wow, interesting. So um, 
you know, what, what's going on? I mean, w tell me about what your situation and what you're trying to accomplish yeah. and see if we can help. Because the most important thing is, is what's going on with them, right? Because the only reason that they're going to sell to us is because there's, there's something going on that they, they need help with, right? Mm -hmm. Either condition, speed, or whatever the case yeah. is. So right then and there, I would have dug in because that's an opportunity. It's like, it's like a boxer. You see, you see the opening and you got to take it. He didn't take it there. Yeah. Working fine, plumbing, water, air. air. So again, that's not the way I would mm -hmm. He's like, oh, tell me about the property, the plumbing, the roof and all. And, and hey, like, it's like a diarrhea of everything. Yeah. You, you ask for each thing individually. Well, you know, once you get into the condition of the property, it's like, well, tell me about the roof. What's the condition of the roof? Well, tell me about the bathrooms. What about the kitchen? And you do that. Like, he's just like... I mean, I think, I think of it as uh, you, you transition from that greeting into fact-finding, right? Mm -hmm. But you don't want to make it so abrupt. It's like you're dating somebody. Yeah. You don't just want to, you know, you want to take it slow. So you just tell them, hey, tell me a little bit about the property. Mm -hmm. Let them talk. They're going to tell you about the property right. and why they're selling in the first place. And then while they're telling you all these things like, yeah, I'm looking to sell because I want to move closer to my sister. She's sick. Oh, no, really? Wow. I can't yeah. believe that. You know, empathize, connect with them. That's how you build rapport. All right. So, so far, nothing. Not, this call's not going well. How old is the roof? Uh, it's about 10 year old, I guess. Any, any major repairs that you would do to it if you were to stay here? And a good pressure wash it. Okay, so it's mostly exterior work, nothing, no windows need to be placed, no uh, need to place, none of that? No, sir. Okay. He's also like, that's not an accurate way of getting, because uh, if you sell the seller, if you ask the seller, oh, how's the kitchen? Oh, it's great. So no work needs to get done. No, yeah. no, it's perfect. The way I would qualify that is like, well, um, how long you since how, when was the last time has the kitchen been redone any time in the last five or six mm -hmm. years? You know, meaning a whole redone. He says, no, no, that it hasn't. Okay, you've been there for what, fifteen years? Is the kitchen the original kitchen as when you moved in? And mm -hmm. he goes, yeah. Now you know that that kitchen is like old as fuck, yeah. and so now yeah. that's a problem. My wife passed away, and I look at everything we done because put laminate floors all the way through it, all except for one room. So he just said that his wife passed away, mm -hmm. and mm. I'm curious to see how he handles this because this is a very, you know, he's opening up about something emotional, right. something personal. Yeah. So we'll see what he says. Yeah, I'm so sorry to hear that. And yeah, me too. We uh huh. We back fifty three years. The guy told him. He said, "I'm so sorry to hear that." Right. Right. But you obviously you don't feel that genuine. Mm -hmm. And then there was silence. And the guy it's said, "It's like an awkward dance." Yeah. Like two teenagers, two teenagers at the prom dance exactly. that don't know how to dance with each the, other. The seller says, "Yeah, me too. Yeah. We're married fifty three years." And that's it. And that's it. Oh. 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 So um, how soon would you like to sell? Oh my god. Oh, he just went right into that. Are you just like, how soon would you like to sell? He, he understands. So what do you, I, I would ask him, okay, so tell me about, so I'm, I'm sorry to hear that your wife passed away. I mean, um, and, and everybody's situation is different. I can say, you know, mm -hmm. hey, I've been married a long time, so I could only imagine what you're feeling. Uh, so now are you, so it sounds like, and I, I, I would say, look, so it sounds like, you're kind of ready to go and um, and sell the house and, and go to your next, you know, where you want to next. Where is that, by the way? Where, yeah. where are you looking to do? And 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 again, like figuring out, because I'm trying to figure out like what he is. Right before we get into price, I'm trying to figure out, like, okay, what is this guy trying to do? How we can help him? Mm -hmm. uh, what is his circumstances, right? And try to mold an offer that fits into what he wants, yeah. right? Into what he's looking for. And by you asking that question, right, of where are you looking to go? Or yeah. what, what would, you know, what would you do next? You're already you're taking him from the sad situation that he's in now, right? Yeah. The present, and you're planting him in the future. Yeah. Right. So then yeah. making that segue into the next question would be a lot easier. All right. We should call this guy back. And what is your asking? Yeah, I was worth more than that, but I forty five for it. Okay. And how do you arrive at this number? 
I, I don't understand what he's saying now. Sounds good. So uh, a little bit about our company and how we do things. So all the information you just gave me, I'm going to go ahead and send to our writing team. You're going to go ahead and look at it and basically let me know what the AO is, max allowable offer. Once I get that back, I will call back. We discuss it, come to an agreement, and then I'd go ahead and send you a purchase and sale agreement. You review it, sign it, send it back, and then we begin the closing process, which generally takes 30 days or less. So with that being said, what what time works for you for a call back? Uh, just and I'm after 12 during the daytime because I'm... Well, I mean, he says, first of all, he's using a term that the seller has no idea what that is. Oh, we got the maximum allowable offer. Like, yeah. the guy doesn't know what, mm -hmm. what the hell that is, right? And then now he's telling them about the company and everything else. I mean, I personally, if I'm on the line with him and I'm looking at the information, mm -hmm. I would at least... He said he wants looking for a price of 45. Right. We're looking here and it says that the uh, Zillow value is 24,000. Mm -hmm. It's located in Georgia, but it looks like it's a little bit off the beaten path, right? By Chattanooga, it's not that far. See, Zillow's not it's telling me a value. The assessed value is 24, mm -hmm. but he's already at 45. So um, personally, and it's a 1600 square foot house. At the very least, I would say you always want to throw in a number, mm -hmm. right? You want to anchor them. Yeah, you want to anchor them and said, and I would, I would say, uh, let me ask you this. So once you sell this property, where are you looking to next, do next? Because I want to also figure out what, like where he's going to, etc. Right now, I, I, we can definitely do the research and come up with a with a with an offer. Um, I can tell you this just really right off the, just you and I talking on on the on the most recent ones that we have either purchased or put offers on. The number that I've gotten back. Uh, on a property like this has been around the fifteen to fifteen thousand fifteen thousand dollars give or take or so. I know you're asking forty five. Um I know fifteen thousand is a much lower than yours. And he would be like, Oh no, hell no, I ain't not gonna sell it for that much and I would say, No, no, I'm not a, I'm not offering you that. I'm just we're just having a conversation. But I know that they're gonna they're not gonna be be okay with the forty five K. So let me ask you this. Is there a number that you would consider uh that perhaps uh then what might work for us, you know? And then you want to get some number from him, yeah. right? So let's say he says, well, I consider 40,000. Pretty sure that they're just not going to do anything at that number of 40,000. Um, let me ask you this. If they came back with a number, you know, somewhere around, you know, say 20 to 25,000, do you think that that would be a number that, that may work for you? It, it may not be 100% accurate, but if we can at least have that back and forth, because right now he's telling him, oh, we're going to call him back. But then also, too, he starts getting into, oh, um, you know, we're going to uh, send you a contract. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. But that's just way you I wouldn't say that at that point in the conversation. Yeah, but he didn't. He didn't. He didn't give him an offer on anything. An offer. No. Right. He no. just said, thanks for all this information. I'm going to go ahead and submit it to the team. Yeah. The way I like to do it is, let's say uh, he's asking 45, uh, assuming we want to be somewhere around. 19 or 20 right. right let's just assume what i do is obviously i'm looking at the property so i'm already getting data while he's right. talking right that's the most important thing you want to start looking at the market what it's telling you and then you i like to say hey look once it's time for that offer hey look so what i'm looking here is investors are buying properties similar to yours between 12 and 14 thousand yeah. i know in the past we have picked up properties just like this anywhere between 14 and maybe seventeen thousand. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah. Just stay quiet after that point, because he's probably gonna say he's probably gonna assume that was an offer. Yeah. He's gonna say, "Oh no, that's way too low." And then the negotiation starts there. But you already anchored him on competition's price, and now you're giving him your range. Right? And also your offer, the number that I'm talking about, and the number you're talking about is we. It's a number that they're gonna say no to. Yeah. Sounds good. Then I will uh, go ahead and give you a call around four thirty five. As soon as I get that back. Just sounds half asleep. Okay. okay. Sounds good. I put mountain stone on the bottom of it. It's, I mean, it's, it was a beautiful place till my wife passed away, and I just quit working on that thing and started packing up. Yeah. I feel that. Well, I'll try to get him, you know, help you out the best I can. So I talked to you at around four, four thirty. Did you ever call that guy back? Okay, no. I'm good. Sounds good, Melvin. Thank you, you never for coming out our form as well. Mm. Okay, you're welcome. Bye bye. This call was on September twenty second. It's September twenty eighth today. Yeah.
He never called him back. Yeah, he never called him back. I never followed up with him. Um, he did text him. He, he couldn't did. get a hold of him. But he, oh, wait, he, 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 didn't, even he didn't even call him. He didn't call he him. Didn't call. He just texted him. Yep. He just texted him. And then uh, uh, he went ahead and made a quick note and September 22nd and yeah. then didn't never call them back. So, so this is, this, we like to go in and, and review these things because, you know, if it was just communicating, yeah. those, thi- those are things that can be trained. Right. Right. But they have a guideline that they have to follow every single day on what to do with when a lead, what, yeah. what, when a lead comes in. Well, my, clearly yeah. he's not following it. Um, should we call this guy and see if we can do better? If you want to. Just for the hell of it. Just to see. Let me see. I don't know if, it's a, if this is a deal that it doesn't... Uh, 1,664 square feet. It's hello. Oh, hi, I was looking for Melvin. Well, you got it. Hey, Melvin. Uh, my name is Chris. I'm calling you from nationalpropertybuyer.com. You spoke with someone uh, at our firm a couple of days ago about selling your property over in uh, in Bell Court. Does that ring a bell? Uh, yes, but I done sold it. Oh, you did? You sold it? Oh, okay. When, when, when was it that you ended up uh, selling it? Was it just recently? It was Monday. It was Monday. Okay. And uh, they... Um, oh, did they close already? Or is it just you have it on the contract and now you're waiting to close? Well, I got the contract signed and everything, uh, just waiting on the close. Got it. Okay. Okay. Well, no problem. Well, hey, I'm glad that you got it sorted out. I'm sorry that we couldn't be the one to help you, but um, ended up being that uh, that uh, you got it sold. So that's what that's what counts. Uh, how, how much? I, I was curious. How much were you asking for? How much did you sell it for? I got. Uh, I've asked him 50000 and I got 48 Okay. 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 Sounds like a good price. Sounds like a good price. Well, listen, congratulations. Uh, and uh, I'm, I'm just keeping my fingers crossed for you that everything works out. It closes. I know you were looking to transition um, in terms of your situation, but uh, congratulations on getting it sold and, and wish you the best of luck. Thank you. You have a great day. Uh, bye. Bye. So, looking at the market, yeah, that was a deal. That was a deal. Oh, we got it. That- Number one, that was a deal. Number two, yeah, he failed to call him back. He didn't do any of the market analysis. He didn't yeah. do any of his work. Yeah. So he he if he would have done minimal work, just right. like the thirty seconds that I took to pull yeah. some stuff up, he would have seen that at that price it was a deal. It was a deal. Mm. I mean, you could have totally sabotaged that deal for him right now. Well, he has a, he has a contract. Yeah, but that means nothing. Yeah, and, and so. You, you could have you could have started sowing seeds of doubt and all that, but right. you know we don't want to do that, right? Yeah. The guy already seems like he's stressed out as is. But, but somebody got a deal. Somebody got a deal. They got a good deal because this is. And you offered us for forty five k, which 45. is less than what he sold it yeah. for because he sold it for forty eight. So we could have probably got him at thirty eight or forty. Yeah, and we could have made now, money from that. So I am I am gonna follow up on this. Okay. Because one thing that I, I do like that you asked um, if they had closed, no, they haven't. Right. Usually what we ask our, our reps to ask is when they say, no, we haven't closed yet. It's just a contract. Oh, great. So when's the date? When right. are you guys closing? Because then we want to be there constantly reminding them that we are another option. So it goes to show. Yeah. We need to always keep checking, make sure everyone's performing right. KPIs because it's not just that we missed a deal. Yeah. It's that we also spend money on ads. Yeah. I, I spent time right. on them. Yeah. Right. It's like if you were Caesar right now. Uh down yeah all right let, let me know did you find this call useful if you didn't find it useful don't tell me because it hurt my feelings hurt jeans feel mm-hmm. feelings but if you like this sort of call and you want more calls like this then make a comment and say i want more chico and we'll record more calls of this nature meaning that we're just doing things on the fly in our regular real estate business and maybe you like to listen in in terms of what's happening so yeah. No mercy. No mercy. That's what they want to see. Yeah. Like the gladiator. Gladiator. That's what we need to see. Are you not entertained?